gonna tell you some of the secrets that nobody wants you to know. Are you ready? Come on, follow me. Hi. How you doing? Hi. Hi, Phil with Practical Hap Keto. Um, what I want to share with you today is I want you to become a player. That's right, a player. Well, not really a player, but I want you to use players. There's something that we call players of the game that I got through the Dragon Society International. 20 years ago, I started studying some of their stuff, brilliant stuff, based on science. The players of the game are something you can add to, I don't care what you're doing, it can be karate, it can be judo, hapkido, joint locking, striking, these players all come into there. And if I could tell you that you can add, increase the effectiveness of whatever you're doing by 10, 20, or 30%, would you use it? Well, of course you would, of course. Well, since I'm really about hap keto right now, I'm going to use hap keto techniques to illustrate or demonstrate these players. One of the top, I have several that have my top ones. My top ones are sinking, bending, sinking legs, getting some structure to you. Feet to the core, if we look down here. Everybody, everybody always wants to have this back foot trailing. Feet to the core means that I turn this back foot so both my feet are pointing at whatever it is I'm talking or striking or attacking. Plus I'm sinking, there's two players, feet to the core sinking. Another player is my weight distribution. Can you see up top here? I want my nose over front toes. So basically what that means is my weight is forward. So there's three players, feet to the core, sinking, nose over toes, and then another one is basing. Basing is holding something against you. So, just look at this, those players in regards to a half keto. We'll just go into a joint lock here, we got it. Everybody's got an arm bar. If I do this arm bar with this away from me like this, bend your arm and get out of that. Just gonna get out of it and bend it and be done with it all the time. Don't take my word for it, find a partner and try it yourself. Now do that same arm bar, but this time I want you to take this hand and base this against your body. Now squirrel out of it. There's structure now, okay? So again, if I even if I have this base, if I take this foot and trail it out like this, I'm weaker. When I turn this forward, not only am I stronger, but now I've kept this leg in the fight. See, it's ready, I can launch it, I can launch a knee, I can launch a kick. This back foot is turned out like this, I can't do that. In order for me to kick with this leg, the first thing I gotta do is do what? I have to turn my hip forward. So, it stands to reason, have your feet to the core, have all your weapons into play to go at the very beginning. Now, with my weight, right, my nose are over toes, I'm over this lock. If I got it listed back here, do I even look stronger? No, I look weaker. I bring this into play. That's a pl Another player is hands in the power zone. Your power zone is a rectangle, that's right about here, where your elbows are touching your body, you can move your hands in this area. This is where you are strongest. The farther I leave that power zone, the weaker my body becomes. So it stands to reason, again, with this arm bar, if I'm applying an arm bar here, my hands are in my power zone. I'm not gonna have them stuck out here to the side. I'm weak again, I bring all this back into play and I'm solid, okay? There's a lot of players, a bunch. But I'd love for you to try these players with what you're already doing. Same with striking. Let's look at the striking aspect of this. Another player, let me give you another one. Core rotation, okay? That's where I'm rotating my whole body. My, when I say core, my core is from my feet to the top of my head. When I rotate that, 100% of that is rotating. And a good example on something like this, like a cross wrist again, is when I do this cross wrist, look, I step in, my feet are to the core, my nose is over the toes, my hand's in the power zone, now he's hanging on, I add core rotation. What happens here? If I add core rotation and bring this hand into play, what happens to him there, right? Now look at my structure. I'm basing, my feet are to the core, nose are over toes, hands are in the power zone. Crap, look, what, do this yourself and watch the effectiveness of your techniques go up. Okay. Another play, I'm, I've got a lot of players I've got going on in here that not everybody realizes. And, and one of the other players is like aim small, miss small. Be on target. 
When I do this arm bar, I'm using the proper tool on the proper target. Just above the elbow here, about an inch or so, tricep tendon, also known as a TW11. If you want to look at a pressure point chart, you can find exactly where it is. My bone of pain is going to go right on that puppy as I have all this base, and I even add vibration. He likes that. Do you see that? <laughs> he just wanted to go down. So I'm on target. I add rotation to it. Look at how it's kicking up. When I was going to mention striking, if, um, if, if I just even have a cross, if I just do this as a strike here and I want to strike him, I'm not going to have this foot out here and do this strike, right? What am I just using my arm? What should I be using? Where does the power start? In the ground. You're going, uh. So if I'm in here now, clearing, all this is coming into play. Where's my weight? Forward, nose over toes. No matter what it is I'm going to do with this, I'm going to try and maintain and keep all those players in it. In boxing, you know, you look into the body shot, he's not standing with his arm and doing this. He's got, he's got his core, core rotation going into there, right? That's a player. The more players you have, the more effective your technique is. So please, try these. Try them and then put some comments down below at some point. Hey man, it worked great, or man, I couldn't get this to work, or I thought this sucked, or whatever. So here's your players to play with. Feet to the core. Sinking. Nose over toes, that's the front feet. Hands in the power zone, all right? There's some simple ones for you that are very effective. You have all those players on any technique, you're almost guaranteed success, all right? So cool, go give it a shot. Let me know how it works out for you. Train smart, train hard. Have a good night.